I finally cracked that multi formula. Here's how to get it sound in five steps inspired by his tracks as Drugs from Amsterdam or Beats from the Underground. And by the end of this video, you'll be able to create a beat part of 10 banger yourself. Let's straight dive into it. I want to create a bass similar to the bass from Like I Like It. It's a sort of that acid style. So let's break down the preset, starting off in the saw wave. Lock this down. Add some noise. With envelope 2 right to it, just a short envelope, no sustain, and a bit of decay. Then right to the acid ladder filter, the Serum 2 filter. Perfect for those acid sounds. High resonance because an acid cutoff around here. Also make sure to route a mod wheel to the cutoff. Giving this effect. Then some distortion. Hyperdimension, a little bit of compression, and then some other module automations with a reverb, delay, and low cut, giving this effect. So then we're gonna dive into me. We're gonna start off on the root note, B e minor, up to the fifth. Then sixth and third, and back on the root. Duplicate it. And there we have our bass line. Now we're quickly gonna link it up with a kick. So open up the F-Star sample pack, go to the kicks. And let's go for this one. Just drop it in. And do some mixing. So first we need a side chain for the bass. And mix the kick and bass together. So first glue it together with some compression. Like this. And as you can see, it's lacking some sub. So we're adding in an R bass. Boosting a sub end. And then the last thing I want to do is play around with the module automation. Just like this. So, as tweaked. Create an automation clip. And I only let it open up at the end. Every 8 bars like this. And during the build up right here. If it has effect. Giving us this bass line. So then we're gonna edit another signature sound of Malpi, the M1 organ, used in this track, of course. So we're gonna start off with a sine wave and shape the envelope like this with a lot of release. Filter it. Then remove the low end. Some hyperdimension. Chorus and reverb and delay. Something like this. Then we're gonna make the MIDI. Or start off on the root note again. And then play around with the sixth and fifth note of the scale. Giving us this sort of ARP kind of plug. And then just get rid of the low end. Some more delay. Side chain. And lower down the volume. And we're gonna use it in a breakdown right here. And after eight bars. Just a small detail, mostly for the breakdown, but it really does the job. So now we're gonna move on to the drums. We're gonna keep the drums fairly simple for a Tegos production. Just straight to the point with an offbeat hi at first. And shorten it, lower down the volume, and layer it with this closed head. Something like this. And of course, we need a typical 99 kind of clap. Something like this. Which is dope, but we need some more swing, so just drop in the top loop from the pack. Let's drop in this groovy one, and lower down the volume. Pretty strings already, and it's solid. And turn it into a full loop. And do some mixing on the drum bus. Do it together. And add some transition to it. Really simple, but it does the job. All together, the drums sound like this. We 
we laid down a solid foundation so now it's time to add in all the energy elements for the lead vocals and ear candy so i opened up the f towers pack got this saw chord and let's space it up some more so i'll add a for one to the fine tune like this and turn it into a lead start off on the root note and make a simple rhythm Just like this. Then space it up some more with a mixing. O cut, OCT. Dipping a little bit of the high end. Make it stereo. And some reverb and delay. Together with a sidechain, of course. And just edit it in a drop, which we're gonna turn it into an 8 bar loop as well. Then we need to add in a vocal. So go to the vocal section. And let's go for this one. It's an A minor, so we need to. Drop it to semitones. It also gives it a cool form and kind of pitch. And mixing wise, just remove the low end. And add a sidechain automation. Because I want to use this part. In the drop. Let's see how it sounds together with the bass. Yeah, it's really solid, really adds an energy. May I use a little automation right here? Yeah, that's better. So now I just added some more air candy. Simple snare roll. I really like this. This phone kind of tone. Right before the drop. With this random glitch sound from the pack. And the ad libs again. So then we just need to arrange the breakdown some more. Copy over the drums and remove the kick and the build up. We minimize the melody. So then I also made a quick intro with all the elements. Just like this. Increase the, the volume of the vocal a little bit as well. And I also added in some simple master animations with a local animation like this. Combined and then the smell for build up. So, very simple, but that's how you make a Maupi kind of style track. I think the final result turned out really dope, so let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Besides that, if you like the video, drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see y'all in the next videos. I'm gonna dance.